In 2001, Congress created the EMP Commission to assess the threat to our country from an electromagnetic pulse attack on our nation's power grid. In their latest report in 2017, they concluded that if a rogue nation like North Korea or Iran launched an EMP attack on us, that it would cause a total power grid collapse. In the aftermath, a large fraction of Americans will die as a result. However, in testimony before Congress in 2014, Peter Vincent Pry of the EMP Commission was more specific. He said that an EMP event could wipe out 90% of America's population. Therefore, in terms of survival communications, this raises an obvious question. What kinds of amateur and consumer two-way radios will survivors use in a post-disaster world? In such a time, three general types of amateur and consumer two-way radios will be available. The three types are handheld, mobile, and HF portable. The most widely used type will be small, handheld radios. Powered by internal alkaline and rechargeable batteries, these small handheld line-of-sight two-way radios are ideal for survivors on foot. However, their range is limited. To increase communication range, the increased transmit power of mobile radios is necessary. Powered by external 12-volt batteries, mobile radios are typically installed in vehicles and are designed to be used on the move or in a fixed base station situation. However, for the longest possible range, HF portable radios are ideal. A battery-powered HF portable requires a ham license and operates in the HF high frequency spectrum, also known as shortwave. Portables are physically larger than line of sight mobile two-way radios, but are also powered by external 12 volt batteries. Here are two things to consider with HF portables. While they can be used on the move, they perform best in a stationary setting with a suitable antenna. Also, HF portable two-way radios typically cost $800 or more, so they will be your largest survival communications purchase. What does this mean? When purchasing any survival technology, always see yourself as going to a remote desert island. Whatever technology you will have there, you will take there, and when it fails, you can either fix it or bury it. In other words, there is no room for wasteful spending. This is why Duane Brayton and I wrote Radio Free Earth Community Preparedness and Two-Way Radios, to help you buy smart and do it right the first time. In other words, what you save on your radio purchases and frustration will pay for the costs of this book many times over. With this in mind, when we say buy smart, what do we mean? For those of you who are new to the topic, here are our three most important buy smart rules. Analog frequency two-way radios are the personal freedom gold standard of two-way communications because they are infrastructure independent. In other words, they do not require a middleman and will not fail, or at the very least, put you at the mercy of powerful interests. Remember, analog RF, except no substitutes. Radios that require 110 or 220 power sources will be difficult to power once the grid fails. For this reason, 
Two-way radios with durable battery power designs are essential to preparedness. For example, handheld two-way radios that use AA alkaline batteries offer longer talk time than radios that use AAA alkaline batteries. As the old saying goes, there is no free lunch. That's why you want to stick with trusted brand names that have a solid history of superior design and quality control. Or in other words, it is not who assembles the radio, but rather who puts their name on the front of it. For this reason, American, Japanese, and European brand name manufacturers are the most trustworthy. This brings us to the very question that may be on your mind right now. What is the range of these three general types of two-way radios for future survivors? For that, we'll use rough estimates so we can keep it simple. As a rough rule of thumb, handheld radios have a reliable maximum range of about 0.2 to 5 miles. Mobile radios have a reliable maximum range of about 10 to 50 miles. And HF portable radios have a reliable maximum range of about 100 to 1,000 miles. Next up in this series is part two, the survivors, in which we'll examine who will use survival radios and how they will organize with like-minded others. Until the next time, remember this. Radio Free Earth will pay for itself many times over with your initial radio purchases. And the sooner you begin, the more you'll save. To purchase our book, Radio Free Earth, online, visit amazon.radiofreeearth.org. We offer three different editions, a low-cost black and white edition and two collector-grade all-color special editions. For the Radio Free Earth team, this is Marshall Masters. And if things go sideways, we'll catch you on the 40.